In this video, we are discussing transmission and reflection UV vis measurements of small samples using beam masks on our Lambda 950 spectrometer. Follow the standard procedure to start UV Wind Lab, connect to the spectrometer, and start your experiment. Then, click Align. This will move the spectrometer to a position where you will see the white light on your sample. We have three aperture masks to choose from. We need to use the mask with an aperture as large as possible, but smaller than the sample, to get optimal signal. You can see that this sample does not cover the full opening of the largest mask. So we need to move down to a smaller mask. For this sample, this is the size I would use for both transmission and reflection measurements. There are three shims, one for the 3mm mask and two identical shims which can be used either for the 5 or the 10mm mask. Loosen the screws one at a time, just enough to place the groove of the shim over the screw and behind the sample clip. Just finger tight so it will not move. Make sure the clip is facing up. Do the same on the other side. Place groove over the screw and behind upward facing clip. Make sure the shim is level. Now position the mask flat side down behind the clips. Loosen the screws as necessary and tighten with a hex driver if needed. Do not bend the clips to accommodate the mask. Close the cover and perform the auto zero with mask in place and the reference in the back part of the integrating sphere. Put a small piece of tape on your sample so you can secure it in place. Grab a second piece of tape to secure the bottom, making sure the tape is not in the path of the beam going through the aperture. Finally, check that the sample is sitting flat and totally covering the hole. Close the cover and start your measurement. For reflection measurements, the setup is easier. Take the back cover off. We slide off the spring-loaded sample holder and reference, and the small black piece. Once again, based on the sample size, you must verify that you are covering the aperture completely. For this very small sample, we are needing to use the smallest mask. We slide the aperture on the rail all the way with the white spectral on side facing the sphere. For the auto zero, we set up the reference behind the aperture, so we slide the small shim in, followed by the spring-loaded sample holder with the spring pushing towards the sample. Carefully place the reference on the shim, checking it is sitting flush. Put the cover on and measure the auto zero. After the auto zero, remove the cover, carefully remove the reference, and remove the sample holder. Then, carefully tape your sample onto the aperture, ensuring the sample covers the entire area of the aperture. The tape can cover the whole back of the sample, since it is a reflection measurement. Confirm the sample is sitting flat. Close the cover, and then hit start to do your measurement. 